Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa with the Stock Swish, and I'm here today to review WFC. This had earnings on Friday morning, and it gapped. <clears throat> so first thing is first. Let's look at it. At 8 a.m. it reported, it first gapped down. This is somewhat unusual. A stock will make a move in one direction hard. Then it will flip, which this did, into the live day in the opposite direction. So you could be watching it and it's gapping down. In fact, when did it? At nine o'clock, it was no longer gapping down, it was neutral. By 9.15, it was gapping up. Look at this, this really flipped. This doesn't happen all the time. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time. It's very rare. I didn't trade this, but it was a great example of volatility. <clears throat> volatility, which is what you get in earnings season. So I watched this in the morning to possibly rate it for a gap down. It was hovering in this area. Then it flipped right into the open and went from gapping down to gapping up. I moved off of it. I had other things to watch I liked better. But this is a great example of what earnings season brings. It's called volatility. It's momentum. The stock then opened and had a rally, and you could have bought it. You could have bought it in a gap up. You could have rated it then right into the open. 15 minutes you had to get set up or see it and watch it and see that it flipped. Now let's go to the one-minute chart and see what you could have made on this. Again, gap trading is made for the morning trading. Any person that trades gap should be in and out of trades very quickly, in my professional opinion. Here was the setup. I ended up doing JPM, but this worked out as well, too. JPM had a bigger target. You could have gone long right in here and gotten the rally and been out. So you could have made, you could have made actually $1. twenty. Look at that. Wow. So in 15 minutes, you could have made $1. twenty in Wells Fargo. All because of the gap, all because of the volatility. You would have had to know what to do, know what to watch, how to take the entry, where to put the stop, know to even watch this. Be okay with going long and after it was originally gapping down, as you see here, this is all stuff that's the benefit of being in the live trading room with me to direct you what to do. And, and you've got minutes, you've got seconds, you've got minutes to make the decision to decide. And, and in that time frame, you've really got to decide what you're doing in the day. But all you need is one move like that and you can make money day trading daily. And that's pretty much what I do. Look at the volume in this <clears throat> to the close here, look. So an example of a gap in earnings season, Wells Fargo, WFC. I did JPM instead because it had a larger target and was smoother and easier to do. But this definitely had the move. It definitely was a good gap. You definitely could have gone long it. You would have had to know where to enter and where to get out. If you'd like to learn how to do this, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com for more information to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, which is January 28th and 29th. Have a great weekend, everyone.